Hello. I'm so glad to be back with you again with another video. I pray you have a good day today. Pray God bless you through all your ups and your downs and your trials and tribulations that he'll continue to carry you through like he always do. So we thank God for the good days that we have. We pray, Lord, help us to get through the bad days. You know these things are going to happen. We're not going to have good days all the time. But I'm glad to be back with you again. And I hope that uh, Lord will bless you with a good evening and a good night's sleep tonight. Praise God. And all the things that you have to face today, you know, we can face them through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I'm going to say a short word of prayer at this time. Amen. Praise to God. Amen. God, we pray. Amen. That you continue to look out for us, Lord, and help us and lead us and guide us through our trials and tribulations and our ups and our downs. Know that we need you, Lord, every day and every minute of the hour. Lord Jesus, and we truly need you right now, Lord Jesus. Help us to keep us, Lord, from falling away from, from grace, Lord Jesus. Help us to stay in your spirit, Lord. Continue to trust you and believe in you regardless of what's going on in our lives or what's going on around us. Knowing that you're able to keep us from falling. Use our keeper. Use our hope. Use our helper. Use our all in all. And without you, we can't make it. We can't do it on our own. I don't care how rich we is or how poor we is or how sick we is or how well we is. We cannot make it on our own. And we take God's power to help us whether we believe in him or not. Praise God. He give us ability to think and to speak and to know things. Amen. All this comes from God because he loved us. He loved us why we was in our sins and still love those that have not accepted him as their personal savior. Yet he's waiting on them. And he's going to wait on them until the waiting is in when he get ready to come back for the church. Then it will be too late. But the door is open, praise God. Why is open? Go in and accept the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ by faith. Amen. And live for him and turn your life over in his hands. And let him continue to touch you and wash you and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Take the hatred and the bitterness out of your heart and your mind. And leave all those things in the hands of the Lord. Jesus said, vengeance belongs to him. Nobody's going to get away with the trials and the tribulations. And nobody's going to get away with doing wrong, praise the Lord. we got to go through our trials and tribulations. And we're going to be judged for the things that we did and how we lived in this body. But thank God for that new body. Jesus got for all the ones that believe in him. And believe in being a righteous person through the help of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Not our own righteousness, but the righteousness that come from our Lord. Praise God. Because our righteousness is up and down. Right? You love you today, you don't love you tomorrow. But your righteousness goes forever and ever and ever and gets stronger and stronger. And God, we want to be in your will. And Lord, those who have not come to you yet, Lord, I pray, Lord, they'll get in in time before it's too late. Because we know that you love everybody. We, we are your creations. We are your children. And we're looking in, looking those that believe in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, your son, Lord Jesus, our Savior. Praise God. We're going to have to continue to look to him for help. Thank him that he give us help through the Holy Spirit. If we believe in him, we receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit, which will help us to live according to God's will. We can't live God's will without being born again. we got to be born again to do the will of God, what I'm trying to say. Praise God. Amen. Help us to keep from stumbling and keep from falling, Lord. Help us to get up and stay with you. Know you was able to keep us from falling. You was able to keep us from stumbling. You was able to keep us, Lord, in the trying times and the hard times and ups and downs. You was able to keep us and get through things we just don't see no way out. And all of a sudden, you make a way out of no way for us, Lord Jesus. I pray, Lord, I continue to bless the the peoples of God around the world, bless them, Lord. Their families, Lord. Those in the church, those not in church, not in the church. Those believe, those don't believe. God, continue to bless them and help them and keep them, Lord, from all hurt, harm, and unseen danger, Lord. Please help them, Jesus. Please, God, we thank you for your love that just passes all understanding. We thank you for that love, Lord Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen and amen. All these blessings, thank you, ask in the name of the Father, Son, the Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. God love is, is past understanding. It, it, you can't understand why he loves us the way we are sometimes and the things we do and what we say. Yeah, you would think we would not love, we would want nothing to do with, turn away from hateful peoples and mean people. We want nothing to do with them, praise God. But God, his love, because if we we look at and he let us look at our own life. You ain't always would be what you are either today if it wasn't for me. God, I'm talking about God. If it wasn't for God, we wouldn't be where we are today. We wouldn't be able to come before people and tell people about the goodness of God because he brought us out of sin into his marvelous light as he's offered to each and every one in this world. 
Praise God. God made us of all colors and all language, and that's his will. There ain't nothing nobody can do about it. Praise God. Nobody but God. He did what he wanted to do, and now he's offering us his son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Believe in him and what he did on the cross for us, and that he had to do it to save us. Praise the Lord. So in our spirit and soul, we come to back to God where he belongs. Praise the Lord. Because of sin, as I said before, in Adam and Eve, listen to Satan and not to God. Sin comes down to all generations. Whatever people's is and what do they do, it's because of sin. They don't choose it to be it. They don't want to be it. But it's part of your life when you're a sinner. That's just the way you is. You can't help it. And it gets in you. It's a part of you. And yes, the way you were lived. And all of us had some kind of a sin that we lived in and that we did and thought about before we got, got saved and served the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We ain't always had a good mind. We ain't always thought the good thought. Praise God. And if you don't stand the will of God now, we, I should say, don't stand the will of God now. The same thing will come back on us worse than what we was before we were saved. I don't want that to happen to me, and I don't want to see that happen to nobody. Let us all get together and pray separate, one by one, and all together that we all stay on the wall. Don't be falling. Ain't nothing in this world that, that's worse us leaving, losing our place in heaven, losing our eternal life with Jesus Christ our Lord, because this world is not going to be forever. If you talk to the scientists, they'll tell you, this thing's happening. They can't control. We're, 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 um, flood, mud, and flood, and rush, flood, I'm trying to say, and mudslides, and homes, and people all around the world is having trouble troubles. If you look on the news, you'll see it. Ain't no place you can go where you can't do it. If it ain't too hot, it's too cold. And if it ain't that, you got the flooding and the, and the, and the hurricanes and the tornadoes and the earthquakes and things just jumping up everywhere over this world. This world is going down. It's not going to stay long. We can't, we can't stay here. We can't stay here. And ain't no need to try to make tent. You're going to be here forever because you're not. If it wasn't even trouble, this where we still going to leave one day. All of us, praise God. Amen. So let us do the right thing. And we can't love one another the way God wants us to love one another. If we're not born again and got Jesus Christ in our heart. We, we, we love this because it's something somebody giving us, something somebody doing for us. And if first time they don't do it first, that's the time you see the real person come out of us. We'll get mad and don't want to have nothing to do with them. But God love passes all understanding. Whether you return it back to me or not, with the spirit of God in our heart, we can love you anyway and pray for you. No hatred in our heart. We all came into this world needing God, and we still need it. Praise the Lord. In time when the world is in, he's promised to come back for his believers, those that are alive. And, and here when Jesus comes back, they go back with God on the rapture. I want you to be on there. I want my family to be on there. I want those I know, those I don't know to be on that rapture. What's wrong with loving one another, having peace? We still see the things happening in the world we don't lack. If we don't love one another and help one another, it's gonna continue. And it's and it's going to, it's going we're gonna to have to be born again. We gotta be saved and have Jesus and just prepare ourselves for the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He's gonna take us out of this terrible world. And I wish and hope and pray that everybody could go. Praise the Lord. I'm gonna leave a couple of verses with you, but that's the choice we have to make. That's our choice. Do we believe in Jesus Christ and believe anything what's in the Bible? Or not. Nobody can make us. Jesus don't make it. He said the day of door is open, but it's up to us. It's your it's you if you it's it's you to make the choice. You believe where you the way you want to go after your soul and body. Leave your after your soul and spirit leave your body. You choose where you want to go. And he left that up to us. So, and we are, we can't make nobody either. We can pray for them and tell them if they're listening, not still love them, pray for them, keep on keeping on and doing the will of God. And, and we stop backsliding, stop fumbling and dumbling like we don't know what we want to do. You want to live for God, you don't want to live for God. You want to live for sin, you don't want to live for sin. So you're going to make up our mind. We got to make up our mind whom we want to serve. And where do we want to go when our soul and spirit leave our body? Amen. You can't love the things of the world and hate the things of God. And then when your spirit, uh, your body die, and your soul and spirit got to come out and go somewhere, and then you want to go to heaven and live peaceful and ever, no, no, you have closed the door on your own self. I'll be, have closed the door on my own self if I don't stay with the Lord and say with Jesus. Christ, it won't be his fault. It'll be my fault. That's my choice. Whom do I want to serve? Everybody's free to choose who they want to serve, what they want to believe in. God don't close and make nobody. Amen. That's our choice. Amen. So you serve Jesus or you serve something else. That's that's between you and God. And, and he'll do the, do the separating when he come. 
And so we choose, me, I choose to go with God. I choose to set my soul and spirit live in heaven forever with my family that went on that did, that believed in the Lord and Savior Jesus and all the other saints of God. I want to be there forever. I never have to worry about this sin, this body no more. I won't have to be concerned about sickness and feeling bad and the things going on in the world and you can't help it. All you can do is pray for God mercy to help us to get through. Praise God. Amen. Sometimes cannot help you but prayer. Prayer to God. But if you don't believe in God. But one thing about God, whether you believe in him or not, he will answer your, your, uh, your I say, to help you in your problems and your troubles anyway. He helped me before I knew him. And he helped a million, a thousand people we can't even count. And they don't know him yet. But since the Bible says so many that are going to come to our Lord and say, you're Jesus Christ, so you can't even count. I that makes me happy because I'm in that number. Praise the Lord. But God don't make us, and he won't. He, if you don't serve him and don't choose him, he won't force you. He just put it out there for you, just like if you got a horse and you put water out. And you know the horse have to drink this water. He have to drink water. Everybody have to drink water. That is a human being, praise the Lord, or animals or whatever. They are just living here and breathing here and eat water. And if you don't drink the water, you're going to... You, your thirst is not going to be squinched and you're going to die sooner or later, praise the Lord. So that's just like the word of God is out here for us. If we don't, don't accept it. it, it's just, it we bring in damnation and, and dis discretion up on our own soul and body and mind. We're doing it to ourselves and don't even realize it because it's just like anything. Some things we need and we have to have to survive. And if you reject it and don't accept it, you're not going to survive. Things going to happen to you that you're gonna be not going to be able to control. And nobody else is going to be able to help you. Praise God, because you have turned away from your help, which is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. So let me give you this video, um, couple of scriptures, verses, and let you go. We are in Jude, the 20, uh, 24th chapter, Jude, and the 26th chapter, Jude. Praise God. Amen. And 26th uh, chapter of uh, Jude, at the first of Jude, hold on, let me hold on a minute. The Jude starting at the, the chapter will still be over on the first, starting at the first chapter. We're going to go there. We're going on over on to uh, verses 24 and 25 of Jude. Verses 24 and 25 of Jude, praise God. I was giving you wrong uh, numbers at that time. But I got it. It's straight now. It says, Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceedingly joy. This is what Jesus has done for us. He will present us to Jesus. To Jesus will present us to God the Father, faultless, no wrongness, no sin. The thing, the way we live is washed away. Amen. Through the power of God, if we believe in our Son, and if we believe in our Savior, it's Jesus Christ, and he gives us the Holy Spirit to keep us from sinning. But we got to pray and read the scripture and be normal people. We're not odd. You're just a happy person, and you're free in your mind and spirit that you're not doing the things you used to do, and it's a good feeling. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And the 25th verse tells us, to, to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dimension and power, both now and and forevermore, talking about the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He offered us to be presented up to God faultless, with no sin, no evil in our body. We can't do it. God can do it. We can't do it. That's why I say about people, I can't. No, you can't. You not me. I can't. You can't. None of us can. It didn't take the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to keep us from being evil and mean and don't care about nobody, not even our own self. We don't care what happened to us after our, our soul and spirit leave our body. People's preparing for everything. It's not everybody, but a lot of people. And I was one on one time too, preparing for Christmas, Easter, vacations, and different things like that. When I think about it, I need to be prepared for where my soul and body is. Where, where's my soul and spirit going once it leaves this body? Where is my soul and spirit going after it leaves this body? Do I believe that going to happen? No, I didn't believe it. I didn't know it is even existing under this that I know about now. But I know it's true. I've been through things, and I know it's only God that delivered me. And it's about my faith, but because I have faith in him, and I believed in him, and I prayed to him to help me. Amen. When my family couldn't help me. Good words, kind words can't save you. It can't cleanse you. It only the power of God by having faith in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. I love you with the love of God in my heart. Praise God. And, and I tell you, again, go to Jude, and it says the first chapter. That's the first chapter, which we didn't read. We let, we went over to the 24th verses, to the 25th verses of Jude. 
Amen. Praise God. Pray my strength in the Lord, and I certainly be praying for you. Remember, God love you. Ain't nothing you can do so bad that God can't forgive you for and clean you up from it and save you and give you the right spirit and mind and stop hating and killing and doing all this thing. This is not right. You know it's not right. We don't. You you don't. We shouldn't want to live that way. We should want to be delivered from things like that. Praise God. Love you with the love of God in my heart. Hopefully, I'll be back again with another video to bring you, telling you about the goodness of God and how he loves you and how he cares for you and that he will never forsake you and he 